okay? There's risk, right? So this is a risk. This is a big scary risk. This is the what if people find out I fail, okay? And this is pain. This is pain. This is the I lay at night all night long wishing that I was a filmmaker, wishing that I started my own company, or wishing I did this. This pain, and this is the risk. What is everybody gonna think? Nothing's gonna change until the pain becomes greater than the risk. When you go, you know what? I don't care if everybody thinks I'm a loser. I've got to start this company. My pain of me not doing something and wasting my life and not taking a risk is greater than the risk of how people will feel about me. Until this happens, you're dead in the water. Okay? If you truly have a great idea and you don't ever do anything with it, it'll eat you alive. You'll think about it all the time. Right? And until, culturally, right, the pain, economically and culturally, of looking around and seeing all the best ideas, right, coming out of other countries, right, South Korea, China, right, looking around and looking at all these other economies that are booming and these great ideas that are coming out, until that pain of seeing other countries, right, in Asia continue to, like, skyrocket, Okay, until that pain is greater than the risk, nothing's gonna happen. So like, what was the situation, in particular, Steve? What, what led to those innovations you were talking about? The World War II defeat, and Japan was in ruins. Okay. Japan was in ruins, okay? The pain of seeing the country the way it was was greater than the risk. What are the companies that started after the war? Do you know any of them? What were some of the companies that started after the war? Sony. Okay, let me just take, what did you just say? You said Sony, Toyota? Probably Canon, yep, Canon. Anybody else? Right now, I'm making a list of some of the best brands the world's ever seen, period. These brands are about as blue chip as you can become, about as trusted and as solid that you can be, okay? You just listed up Sony, Toyota, Canon, what's the other one? Panasonic. What happened when after the war, Four of some of the best companies that have ever been on the face of the planet started in this country. Like, that's a big deal, right? Where do we trace that back to? The time in your country when the pain of not doing something was worse than the risk of, like, does that make sense? Like, it was in such bad shape, you had to do something, you were forced to do something. And what happened was you created, this is just off the top of your head, right? Four of the greatest brands on the planet. So my question is this, can Japan build the best companies in the world? Yes or no? Yes. You've proven it, right? True? My question now is, what happened? Because the people that actually started these companies believed they could do it Right? They're inspired to do it. They have the knowledge. They took action and they built some amazing stuff. Transformed your economy. I mean, the, the economic turnaround after World War II is staggering. How quickly that happened. Okay? It's amazing, right? What people can do when you're motivated and you have a goal. And then something happened to the point now where we ask the question <coughs> these are all entrepreneurs, right? That's what I'm saying. All entrepreneurs? And now I say, where are all the best entrepreneurs in Japan? And everybody goes, ah, you, know, you don't really do that in Japan. Yes, you do. You've proven it. You built some of the best brands in the world. Something's happened where you stopped. I would just ask yourself the question, why'd you stop? It's worth investigating, right? What happened? Can you imagine if you would have kept at this trajectory of launching these companies? Can you imagine what would happen in Japan if after World War II, you just kept going and it was like, and, 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 2013, this whole board's filled with the best brands in the world. After World War II, we started building companies. 
and we built the best companies in the world and we never stopped, what do you think would happen economically in Japan, culturally, globally? How would people view Japan? Completely different. You can't stop it. I'm just saying it's worth, it's worth fighting for, right? It's worth investigating. It's worth thinking about. 